Well, good day, everybody. And this week, when I said in the opening, I've got all the babies from the same creator. As you know, I've got my new baby over here. It's a little Aggie. Then I've got Lee. Then I've got Jane. Then I've got May. And the story this week is out of the same book I've been using for the last few weeks and we're nearly to the end of the stories and this week we have got Rumpelstiltskin okay girls and this being Aggie's first story look at her over there with a big grin on her face okay can we see her good over there I wonder if I move her down a bit there she is and of course we're Garfield Rumpelstiltskin. Once upon a time, there was a poor miller who had just one daughter. He was very proud of her and he told many people about her virtues. One day, the king rode through the village. The miller desperately wanted to impress the king. Your Highness, my daughter is very clever beyond compare, he said. But the king took no notice. She can also spin straw into gold, the miller lied. Your daughter must be very clever. Bring her to the palace tomorrow so I can see for myself, demanded the king. The miller didn't dare disobey the king. So next day he brought his daughter to the palace. The king led the girl into a room filled with straw. On the floor stood a, steel, a stool and a spinning wheel. Spin this straw into gold by tomorrow morning. Oh, you'll be thrown into the dungeon, said the king. Then he left the room and locked the door. The poor miller's daughter sat down on the stool and gazed at all the straw around her. She wept bitterly, bitterly at the impossible task before her. All of a sudden, the door sprang open and in came the strangest little man she had ever seen. Why are you crying? she asked. I have to spin all this straw into gold before the morning and I don't know how, replied the girl sadly. If you give me your pretty necklace, I will spin the, straw, spin the straw into gold, said the strange little man. Oh, thank you, gasped the girl, wiping away her tears and handing over her necklace. The little man sat down in front of the spinning wheel and set to work. All night long, the little man spun, spun, and by morning the room was filled with reels of gold. And just as suddenly as he appeared, the strange man disappeared. I went and got to the next page. Where is it? Oh, sorry. It was the next page. Sorry. <laughs> when the king arrived, he was astonished to see so much gold. You have done very well, he said. But I wonder if you can do the same thing again. He took the miller's daughter to a much bigger room. It too was filled with straw. More straw than she had ever seen. Spin this straw into gold by tomorrow morning or you'll be thrown in the dungeon, said the king. And once more he locked the girl in the room. This miller's daughter was very frightened. The strange little man appeared before her again. Don't cry, he said. Give me your shiny ring and I will spin the gold, straw into gold. She handed over her ring gracefully and the little man set to work immediately. Once again, all the straw was spun into gold. The king was thrilled. 
if you can spin straw into gold again, you shall marry my son and become queen. The poor miller's daughter wept even more bitterly than when the king left. Why are you crying, said the little man, appearing for the third time. You know that I will help you. But I have nothing to give you, sobbed the girl. If you become queen, replied the little man, I want you to promise to give me your firstborn child. The desperate miller's daughter agreed to the man's request. And once again, he spun all the straw into gold. The king was so delighted when he saw all the gold the next morning and he kept his promise. He introduced the crown prince to the miller's daughter and they were soon married. It wasn't long before the couple truly fell in love and became king and queen of the land. The new queen was very happy and forgot all about the promise she made to the strange little man who saved her from the dungeon. A year later, the king and queen were blessed with the baby boy. Then late one night, the little man appeared in the queen's bedroom as she watched over her sleeping baby. I'm here to collect your baby, he said, just as promised. The queen was horrified. Oh, please take all my jewels and money and said, not my son. No, replied the little man. You made a promise, but I will give you three days. If in that time you can guess my name, then you will keep your baby. The desperate queen agreed. She sent messengers all over the kingdom to collect all the boys' names they could find. That night, the strange man appeared again and the queen read out the names she had gathered. But after each name, he just laughed. The next day, the queen sent her messengers out to find more names. That night, she read, read out the new names when the little man appeared. But once again, the queen's guesses were wrong. On the third day, the poor queen was in despair. It was getting late by the time her last messenger was found, returned. Your Highness, I haven't found any new names, he said. But I was returning through the forest. I saw a little man leaping and dancing round the fire, singing a song. It went like this. The Queen will never win my game, for Uncle Stilskin is my name. The Queen was overjoyed. When the little man appeared that night, the Queen said, Are you perhaps called Rumpelstiltskin? The little man was furious. He stamped his foot so hard it went through the floor. Then pulling it on his leg until he was free, he stomped out of the room and never heard from again. The King and Queen and their son lived happily ever after. Rumpelstiltskin. Um, and the tune I sang was just the one I made up. <laughs> I don't know what the tune to that is. So do you all remember Rumpelstiltskin? Yeah, look at all. They're all sleeping separately. She is the Lee Lou kit. As you know, I'll have these four in my chat tomorrow, so I'll talk more about them each time. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed that story today. So how are we got what's the next story? Ah, oh, that one. And the one story I haven't had in here yet is the let's see if it's here. I've read that one. The next one. The one story that I actually haven't read as I don't think has been in here is Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, yes, it has. <laughs> Red Riding Hood was way back at the beginning. Oh, I like this new app I'm using. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. I was going to change these two babies. 
but it's a bit wet day today so I thought I'll wait till maybe do on Monday or something so I hope you have enjoyed that story um, I have we're nearly running out of stories in this there's also rhymes to share in the back as well um, which I will when I do them oh, it depends on the length of the the poem how many I do in one sitting so just something different and that's it for today I'm loving this new app it's not nice and bright from this side and I've also I've worked out how to voice control it yeah so what's happening there Lee? Hmm? Lee, Lee? She's beautiful. I'll talk more about her tomorrow, who she is, and Jane and May. And we all know this beautiful one over here. Look at her nails. Tomorrow we'll get more details of her. I've got to try to find, find that. what The outfit she got on is four zeros, but she's bigger than the Lizzie kit. So I've got to see if the newborn size I've got here will actually fit her. But I might just go on.